Hi, I'm Bryce Whitman. I'm a biomedical engineering student at Arizona State University, and I'll be talking about the creation of Alzheimer's disease relevant lines using cast mystery. Um, so our research inspiration is Alzheimer's disease is one of the six leading causes, and there's no current cure or treatment for it. Um, and there's a need for the ability to create isogenic lines to study um, individuals' genes within um, the neurogenerative diseases. And right here shows a graph of the exponential growth of Alzheimer's as age gets older. Um, the goal of this research project was to use genomic editing to create edits in a genome to generate isogenic lines to study specific genes to Alzheimer's. And we used a method called a cas tree, which uses an M-cherry protein and a glean fluorescent protein. Um, so I provide a stop codon that will be transfected into cells and uses CRISPR components, and the CRISPR um, enzyme is displayed here. On the research method, we propose to use a cast-mediated anonized tree, which is casmus tree, which will feature an M-cherry protein and green fluorescent protein stop right at the stop codon, stop codon. And upon an A to G conversion of the stop codon, um, the plasmid will do both red and green. And then we'll sort for double positive cells. So basically what that means is um, when the plasmid is introduced into these cells, a um, stop codon will cause an edit and that will allow the cells to fluoresce a different color indicating that they're edited. Um, and that was one of our preliminary findings. And it turned out that the Casmus tree allowed for the targeted sites to be edited up to 90%, which is a huge. So we were able to uh, facilitate simultaneously an A to G convedit, uh, conversion at several independent loci. Um, and this can facilitate generation of cell-based models for polygenetic diseases. Um, and further in investigations could involve genomic editing tools such as CRISPR to introduce double stranded DNA breaks. And this could be used to study genes uh, related to neurodegenerative diseases. And I would like to express my great gratitude to David Braffman and everyone in my lab and everyone that's supported me thus far. Um, thank you.